Good evening to all of you. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, everybody. Good evening, Wendy. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How do you feel today, Wendy? Mm, I feel a little tired. Ah, no, I know, tired. I know. I know why. <laughs> But you look uh, in a different plane now, I guess. <laughs> yes. Welcome back again. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Enjoy so much. <laughs> oh, okay, nice. One day, one day we are going to do it too. Algún día cuando seamos grandes. <laughs> yeah. we, are hope we are going to have the opportunity. I sell packets. Ah. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? How do, how do you feel today? Fine, teacher. Okay. And you? I'm ready. All right. Just waiting. How is the weather there?
I'm feeling a kind of noise. I don't know what is there. Laura Carolina, how do you feel today? Good evening. Hello, sir. Mario is there too. Uh, Escobar, Ana Beatriz, Zaira, Adriana, Ana Lilian, Maria Concepcion. The rest, I only see the, the names, but not the face faces. Okay, I'm already.
Okay, Jenny is there. Yesenia. Somebody else, let me see how many people do we have now? Ah, okay, here we go. Let us start now. Okay, Adriana del Carmen. Present teacher. Ana Beatriz. Present teacher. Ana Lilian. Present teacher. Ana Mariela. Present teacher. Carlos Antonio. Present. Good evening. Claudia. Present. Francis. Iris Iber. Jonathan Vigil. Present, Mr. Juan Carlos. Present, teacher. Okay. Laura Carolina. Present, teacher. María Concepción. Present teacher. María Elena. Sí. María Elena, is there? Yes. Venía manejando, dijo teacher. Ah, okay. Solo iba a estar de oyente. Ok, ok. It's driving, it's driving now. Thank you. Um, Mayra. Mayra Veralice. Mayra, Mayra, it's not here. Saira Eliana. Saira Marlene. Present teacher. Santos Misael. Present teacher. Andy Maribel. Present teacher. Jenny. Present teacher. Yesenia. Present. Carlos Alberto. Present. Mario Ernesto. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Okay, welcome to a new session. Today we are going to continue talking about the, the previous topic, pricing, strategies. And we have been a lot of information about this and today we are going to continue. I hope that you remember some term that we are going to use it. because it is necessary. I would like to start um, with some of you to tell me what we talked about yesterday. What do you remember? In general way, just tell me, okay, what I remember is this.
but try to remember. You don't need to see any any paper in order to to remember. But if you want, you can take a look at your note. Tell me. What do you remember about Jessica? Hello, tell me. We talk about pricing as a flexible variable. Oh, okay, okay. What else? What else we talk about? Hello. Hello. I don't understand, teacher. ¿Qué estamos haciendo? ¿Cómo, cuando? ¿Qué pregunta? Ah, ok. Lo que pregunto, ¿qué recuerda de lo que hablamos ayer? ¿Qué términos? ¿Qué palabras? ¿Qué temas? I remember teacher product like the price and golden price. Okay. Okay, what else? Because we talk about a uh, different topic uh, and subtopic yesterday. And we need to connect all those uh, topic with today. Okay. Uh, 
I remember that yesterday uh, I told you to take a look at the what the article that refers in the and in the book. I would like to know if some of you read it. No. Okay, it's not. Uh, we are going to to do it today. Don't worry about it. But I need that you get all the information because in that way you are going to have uh, more details about this topic. We already talked about the strategies. And I told you at the moment, as soon as you see the price that is ending in 99, what is going to come to your minds? ¿Qué se le va a venir a la mente? Psychological uh, advertising. Okay. Okay, excellent. One of the reasons why I invite you to read the, the article is because there you have a lot of information related with this topic that it is difficult to, to see it in, in just one class. But um, that is why we are going to continue talking about this one. But at the same time, um, you are going to start thinking in maybe in a product or in different kinds of product that causes the, what is happening in other countries, the prices has uh, increased. For example, uh, talking about gasoline and what is going to happen maybe in two, two months or maybe more. We need to have some ideas related with that too. But in order to start, let us see a case. We are going to see it. And then we are going to compare what is happening now here in, in our country. Okay, let me share the info with you. Um, okay, let us talk about a Mexican restaurant in Houston, Texas, USA, a family owned since uh, 1957. The demand was large, prices were set low and not enough profit to maintain their restaurant facilities. Take a look at this. And later on, we are going to relate it with uh, the concept that we have started previously. 
Okay, we have some question. Uh, why was Mr. Herrera reluctant to write his prices? Maybe uh, he had a lot of reason in order to keep it in the same way. How did this low prices almost destroy the business? Using this case as an example, we are going to explain the concept of demand price and profit are uh, interrelated. And we need to, to, to pay attention to, to the example because in that way we are going to understand some concept. The question one said, why was Mr. Herrera reluctant to write his prices? It is a question that maybe every one of you can answer. Taking into account all the concepts. And let us say that this happened at the beginning of the pandemic situation. What do you think? Why do you consider the what was the uh, the reason why uh, Mr. Herrera reluctant to write his prices? I need mean, that you think about. I don't know the article, but about Mr. Herrera. Okay. I, I guess he's he re reluctant to raise his price because have a, a conviction about the, the her business, her business. Ah, okay. And so okay. I, I, I don't know. I, I guess he believe he, to maintain the price, customers don't go away. Ah, okay. Okay, that is your point of view. Okay, excellent. Somebody else? Mm -hmm. Somebody else? No? Maybe teacher, Mr. Herrera consider that the target will not pay more. Could be, could be that. But I already showed you some ideas and because yesterday we talked about some of them. Take, take a look at this uh, verse, why? has to do with location. Maybe he is the owner of the location. Uh, uh, he didn't have to pay uh, any rent. Maybe cost loyal customer. And, and different situation that you need to take into account. But at the end, we are going to see what happened or what's close to happen for this decision. Remember that uh, it is related with pricing. The reluctance of Mr. Herrera almost destroyed his business. Take a look at this. Why? Because efficient cash flow, carbon profit maximization, price management, customer perception of price and values, What comes to your mind when, when, when said that Mr. Herrera almost destroyed his business? What happened? What can you infer when, when you see these lines? Uh, 
हेलो हेलो okay later on maybe we are going to relay all this term okay and, and, and we've got another question how all this uh low prices almost destroy the business okay let us say the prices were not high enough to produce sufficient cash flow to keep the restaurant in good repair. Ah, okay. But I ask you with this, with the fair question. Why uh, Mr. Herrera decide something like that? I need that you think. And also, we are going to take a look at uh, marketing objective because we already talked about this. Okay, somebody wants to read the first one. Alguien me podría leer el primero, por favor. Me teacher. Okay, thank you. Low price to cover variable cost and some fixed fixed cost to stay in business. Okay, what does mean? The lady with the decision was Mr. Herrera. ¿Qué relación tiene? Con la decisión que tomó el señor Herrera. Remember that he decided to to. Hello? I I understand that Mr. Herrera uh, rise rise the the price because need more income. Uh, in this case, the low price is only to su survive survival. Uh, only to cover the cost uh, to fabrication, but uh, it's not much the income. Okay, but but in this case that we are standing now, what, what happened with uh, Mr. Herrera? Rise the prices or stay the same? De acuerdo con el caso que estamos estudiando, él subió los precios o se mantuvo con los precios. Hola. Okay, I'm going to go back in order that you take a look. Could you read here? How did this low prices almost destroy the business? What does it mean? We 
we are saying that the prices were not high enough to produce sufficient cash flow to keep the restaurant in a good repair. Okay, and now uh, we are looking, taking a look at the marketing objective and the first one talk about low prices to cover variable costs and some fixed costs to stay in the in a business. And for that reason, I ask you the relation of this um, issue with, with the decision that Mr. Herrera took. I don't know if you are getting the message that I'm trying to relay with, with this case. No, no sé si me están siguiendo y están relacionando lo que el caso que estamos viendo. ¿Qué, qué pasó con el señor Herrera? Tell me. Sure. Uh, uh, in this case, I understand that the Mr. Herrera is recruiting, uh, o sea, que no quiere, no quiere subir los precios, algo así le entiendo yo. Ok, ok, but, but there are a lot of reasons why. And we need to find out the reason in order to please, be sure. Please and change the picture. We need to find out the reason why he has taken the same prices. Maybe to get the, the customers or to stay in the business for have a, a price competitive. Maybe some reason for, for the Mr. Herrera and uh, his price. Okay, let us continue with the second one. Who wants to read it? The second one, please. Me, teacher. Okay, thank you. Es el segundo, ¿verdad? Yes. Current profile maximization. Shop see the price that product the maximum current profile, etc. Okay, current profit maximization. Thank you. Choose the price that produces the maximum current profit and etc. But what happened with Mr. Herrera? Hello, hello. What happened with Mr. Herrera? How do you relate this second one with him? You need to make an analysis about that situation. He tried in the, in the restaurants generate a, a, a maximum of profit for every for every meal for a specific menu mm. okay let us let us continue with the second one market shares leadership low as possible prices to become the market share leader do you consider that he uh, took into account the third one? According to uh, his decision.
what do you think about this And the last one, product quality leadership. The high price is to cover a higher performing quality in R&D. Okay, remember that. Uh, let, let me what is mean, what is mean I R and D? Okay, hold on. Second. Okay, first of all, take, take a look at this. Uh, he was the reluctant of uh, Mr. Rivera almost destroyed the business for, for his decision, right? Okay, and then, and then the prices were not high enough to produce uh, sufficient cash flow to keep the re re restaurant in a good repair. That means that uh, in this case, when we talk about product quality and leadership, it is when somebody uh, hide the prices in order to cover the higher quality uh, of, um, let, let me see how can I tell you this and, and the meaning of this. I, I got it in the tip of my tongue. The meaning of these two words it are R and D. It is like a rise and demon. And also we, we say about that. That you are going to rise the, the, the price, but at the same time you are going to have the same demon that you got at the at the, at the beginning. But let us continue and we are going to find out. Okay, and then when we are talking about marketing mix studies, we already talk about product, price, places, and promotion. We already talk about this. And when we talk about pricing approaches, uh, we already talked uh, yesterday a little bit about cost based pricing, the cost to produce plus predetermined profit margin. And break even pricing. Do you remember that we talk about this? The total sales or uh, revenues equal its total expenses. Do you remember that we talk about this yesterday? Yes. Yes. And what about, okay. And what about value based pricing? Base price to consumer. Because if you are going to, to rise your prices, also you need to take into account the value-based pricing. How benefit is going to be uh, your product to your consumer? And uh, I remember that we talked about break-even analysis uh, or, or only maybe about break-even, not analysis, but if you can see here, we have uh, different details where we can see that, uh, for example, this one, that is the total revenue. We got it here in order to get the tire target profits. And also we got the fixed costs and the total costs. In the fifth cost, we got uh, it is equal to three hundred thousand dollar, and also we got a variable cost that could be ten dollar per meal, and the sale price it is equal to twenty per meal, and also uh, sales in thousands of units meal. You can see it here, but. Uh, let, let us see in a different way because
Okay, let us talk first about the demand and economic term. It is the quantity of good services the buyer will consume at, at, at a particular price. And then we talk again about price. The, it is the amount of money shared for a good or service. It is the only marketing mix element that can produce revenue as all other aspects present cost. Profit income from the demand quantities multiplied by the price that is equal to revenue and expenses taken from the total. Okay, let, let us see uh, and have clear this concept because I need that. Of course, we know when, when we listen in Spanish uh, the, the, the word demon, may we already got uh, a concept, right? But at the same time, uh, in English, we need to get some picture at the moment that we uh, listen this word that is the quantity of good and service that will consume in a particular price. It is like if you have, uh, let us see that you have uh, an enterprise that create a, something that people are going to buy it. And suddenly uh, you start creating, just let, uh, give me a, a name of a product that you consider that you can sell it in uh, uh, big amounts. In order that we can see it in that way. Think in a product, think in a product. Different kind of product could be. Okay, let, let us um, let us say that you are going to, let me see. Let us look for a, a simple example that uh, everybody can understand in a, in an easy way. Imagine that you uh, are starting your own bakery and that you are going to create a special bread, sweet bread, and you are going to start a star uh, working only just with a uh, certain amount of, uh, how can I tell you this? Let, let, let me look for the better word. Okay. Um, imagine that you got your, your own business and that you are going to penetrate in, in the market and you are going to start with, with, with something, right? Imagínense que ustedes abren, tienen, dicen, vamos a hacer una panadería. Ok. Eh, pero como no sabemos la cantidad de, de pan que vamos a vender, entonces vamos a comenzar a solamente con una bolsa de harina. See, but what happened at the moment that you got your product to the market, you uh, spent only just one hour in order to finish all the product. What you are going to do in the next day? And based on that also, you are going to see the price that you are going to assign to your product. And also uh, at the end, you are going to look for the profit, the income that you that you got in that day. And based on that, you are going to continue doing and, and looking for another ways to, to increase your product according to your demand, right? And based on that, you are going to set the price. But um, also, if we see it in a graphic like this, what, what we can see is that some time all depend on the product that we are going to take into account. And normal case demand is the price are inversely related. The higher 
the price, the lower the demand. The relation is straight down where line I see in this diagram. I don't know if you understand exactly what is uh, the diagram saying, because if we are talking about quantity demand per period or most good like this. Right here, it, it is something that we need to take into account. Price are inversely related. The higher the price, the lower the demand. That is true. Entre más caro es algo, a veces la demanda es más. Aló. Baja. Ah, ok, es más baja, sí. Bueno, no se me han dormido. Porque los términos son un poco complejos, ¿no? And we also in elastic demand. What is that? What is that term? I invite you to write it down and keep in your vocabulary because you are going to have a 13% of price increase. And also uh, you are going to talk about percentage of quantity of demand loss. And based on that, uh, you are going to, to go over the pricing. This is the same. And also we talked yesterday about luxury uh, price too. There's somebody mentioned different branch of, uh, of, um, of car, for example. And based on that, uh, they are going to see the demand that they have because not all the day they are going to sell a, a car that costs more than, uh, let me see, how can I mention, more than $25,000, for example. And based on that, they are going to, to study um, every day and every, every month how the product is moving according to the demand. And also right here, uh, you can see the price elasticity of demand equation. That the percent change in quantity demand and also uh, could be divided in chain in price. That could be equal to price elasticity of demand. But these terms are uh, sometimes really complicated for us because we are not just uh, studying on a specific subject related with, with this. But uh, going back again, talking how we are going to do in order to set in prices uh, in a small company, for example, and that management in large companies and corporate department, regional or unit manager under guideline established by corporates managed, uh, we need to know how, how we are going to set in prices. And if we get, go back again to the related case, what we, we, can we say? The Mexico Tessin is a small company where the owner set the price. Originally, they have set their prices low and we're happy with the demand quantity level. Didn't create enough profit to maintain the, the promise. But what, ha what happened next? Increased prices by 40 to 70%. So little change in demand, higher profit, grown compared to practice increase. Uh, in elastic demand. That means that everything could switch in a different way. But how we are going to relay uh, all this term, what uh, we wish we studied yesterday. Let, let, me, let me share with you something else because in that way we are going to make our own concept and that way we are going to Get some picture of ours.
Okay, the, maybe the question that we are going to see fair is how to price. And right here we can find that we've got a uh, basic pricing process. As I previously mentioned, a company, hold on a second that I got the message, okay. Pricing a strategy and method change with circumstances in time. This is why there is no fixed methodology to aid a company in its pricing in the board. However, the following step can act as a general guide. In another words, in another words, that means that maybe uh, there is no uh, a specific guideline that we can follow in order to price our product. No existe uh, como en forma general una guía que debamos seguir eh, para subir o bajar los precios. Pero sí eh, hablaremos de algunas alternativas, pero antes déjenme checar a uh, la asistencia, porque creo que aparecieron algunos. Okay, I got it now. Okay, Adriana. Adriana. Present teacher. Ana Present teacher. Present. Ana Lilian. Present. Ana Mariela Maravilla. Present. Carlos Antonio. Present. Claudia. Present. Eh, Francis Elizabeth. Oh, Iris. José Jonathan. Present, Mr. Ok, eh, Juan Carlos. Present teacher. Laura. Present teacher. María. Present. María Elena. María Elena, ya llegó María Elena. I'm here, teacher. Ah, it's there, it's there, it's there, it's there. Okay, thank you. Eh, Mayra Veralice. Mayra. Zaira Eliana. Saira Marleni. Present teacher. Isabel. Present teacher. Eh, Wendy. Present teacher. Eh, Jenny. Present teacher. Yesenia. Present teacher. La Carlos. Present teacher. Mario Ernesto. Present teacher. Okay. Okay, thank you. Do you remember that yesterday um, we saw a conversation related with, uh, let me see if I got it here. Okay, that I just uh, read it. And we are going to relate it with the, with the case that we started. Eh, vamos a relacionar la conversación que tenemos acá with what happened with Mr. Herrera. That he stayed low prices and what, what happened here. Okay, and later on we are going to, because uh, what I need is that you understand exactly the main term related with this topic. Take a look at, at this, uh, let me go back, okay, right here. Uh, Antonio and Rene are talking about modifying the product and price strategy for the headphone. Read the conversation and take your practice in it. Okay, I'm going to read it. 
and then uh, you are going to practice and then we are going to discuss related with the previous topic. I'm going to read it. The competition jar release a clone of our headphones. They are attractive enough to make us uh, lose position in the market. What do we do? And Renee said, we could renew the look of our headphones. Let's make them colorful enough so that the people can recognize them easily. We can also try with an advertising campaign. Antonio said, renewing the look and packaging will take months and an advertising campaign is too expensive. The best thing we can do is to change our pricing strategy. It's fast enough to help us counter our competitor release of their products. Okay, I invite you to read it and then you are going to practice and, and at the end we are going to make an analysis about this. Okay, who wants to practice? Me, teacher. Okay. Somebody else? Me, teacher. Me, teacher. Okay. Okay, okay. Uh, I start. The competition just released a clone of our headphones. They are attractive enough to make us lose positioning in the market. What do we do? We could renew the look of our headphones. Let's make colorful and more so that people cannot recognize them easily. We can also try with advertising campaign. Renewing the look and packaging will take months, and an advertising, advertising campaign is too expensive. Advertising campaign. <laughs> advertising campaign. Okay. The best things we can do is change our pricing strategy. It is fast enough to help us uh, counter our competitors release of their products. Release. 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 Their product. Okay. Um, their okay, thank you. I, I invite you to, to try to understand this conversation because it's really important. Okay, somebody else, please. Me, teacher, Zaira. Okay, Zaira. Jenny, teacher. Jenny, okay, do it. Okay, Jenny. The competition just releases a clone of or headphone, they are attractive and now to make us lose positioning in the market, what do we do? We could renew the look of our headphones. Let's make them colorful and known so that people can recognize them easily. We can also try with an advertising campaign. Renewing the look and packaging will take months and an advertising campaign is too expensive. The best thing we can do is to change our pricing strategy. It's fast and known to help us counter our competition competitor release of their products. Okay, thank you, somebody else, and then you are going to practice in a breakout room.
And at the end, we are going to discuss what is happening there. Okay, let us do it now. Let's go to breakout room. Mario, Mario, Mario.
Okay, here we go. Okay, let me choose uh, two people. Let me see. Um, what about Jonathan? Jonathan, are you there? Yeah, he's like listener, I think. Ah, oh, it's like, yes, of course it is, yes. Okay, Juan Carlos, it is like listening too, okay. Mm. Me and who? Okay, uh, Juan Carlos and Ana Mariela. Ana Mariela, Ana Mariela. Okay. The competition um, just released a clone of our headphones. They are attractive enough to make us lose positioning in the market. What do we do? We could read the look of our headphones. Let's make them color enough so that can people can recognize then easily we can also try with an advertising campaign. Renewing the look and campaign with, will take months in advertising campaigns too expensive. The best things we can do is to change our pricing strategy. It's fast enough to help us counter our competitors relates to their products. Okay, thank you. Somebody else? Me, teacher, and Alilia. Okay, and Aretis. And the competition just relies on clone or the headphones. Their eye attractive enough to make the slow positioning in the markets. What do we do? Alilia? We could when the look of our headphone let's make the colorful and now so that people can recognize the easily we can also be we and identify compare in new green the look and packaging will take months and the um, adversary camping is to the expensive. The best thing we can do is to change our, our pricing strategy is fast. fast. Mama. Sorry. <laughs> okay. The best thing we can do is to change our prices strategy. It fast now to help use counter or competitors realize of their product. Okay, thank you. Maria? Teacher with Carlos. Okay, with Carlos. Okay. The competition just realized a clone of four headphones. They're attractive and now to make us lose positioning in the market. What do we do? 
we could recognize the look uh, of the uh, our headphones. Let's make them colorful and out. Should uh, that people can recognize uh, them easily. We can also try win at advertising company. The new win, the look and packing will take months and advertising campaign is too expensive. The, be the best thing we can do is the change our piercing strategy. It is fast enough to help, help us consumer our competitor for lazy of their product. Thanks. Okay, thank you. And now I need to have somebody tell me what, what is the, the main idea of this conversation? What is happening there? Me, teacher. Okay. They, they try to change the uh, product because the competition have a similar product. I think that. Okay, thank you. Somebody else? Um, Antonio and Rene uh, take a problem that you brought in this uh, headphone is the lost position in the market. And they can renew the lock of the headphones and maybe change pricing as a strategy. In other words, they are worried about, about what? Losing a um, position in the market and maybe your cost is higher versus pricing the product. Okay, for that reason, they are looking a different way how to, to change even the presentation and the color in order to call the attention. And uh, yesterday we were talking about some example like this, that at the moment that uh, a new cell phone is uh, launched, uh, the, the previous one, uh, the, the price is going down, right? But in this case, what they want to do is just to keep in the top. And for that reason, they need to look for the, the better method because one of them said that uh, it's a good idea to start an, uh, a new campaign, marketing campaign. But they say that they are going to take a, more, a, a lot of time uh, in order to see results. Okay, what else? What else can you tell me about this? Uh, one of the first suggestions that uh, Rene says is to um, change the product. And Antonio tell them tell him that this will cost and take much time. And what they, what they need to see uh, is, is what?
they need to keep? I think that is renovar teacher. Yes. But they, they... but but they uh, renewing a look and packing. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh -huh. and... Mm. to different with the other products but 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 they know no want no no want um make other campaigns but is too expensive uh, it is uh, based on the cost and the income that they are going to to have. In another way, what they are doing is analyzing the situation with the product. And in order to do that, they need to see different scenarios that at the end they are going to look for the best way to continue getting the same profit with the product, right? That, that is the, the main point there, that they want to continue getting the same profit. If they don't do anything about, uh, maybe they are going to go down with, 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 the, with the profit that they are going to get. Okay, would you like to give me some example related with this? No. There are a lot of products that uh, we see in, in a different way now that at, at the moment that maybe we bought it. But another question could be, in your point of view, what makes that a, a, the price of a product uh, get higher or get low? What do you think about that? En español, ¿qué será lo que hace que un producto aumente su precio o que baje de precio? The demand. Ah, ok. I think that the cost of material, prime, primer material. Or the raw material. Ah, could be too. Okay, let us see some information. But in fact, I don't want to be reading all the info because I guess it's better if, if you read it later on. But let me see here. Um, because we start talking about how to price something. For that reason, uh, when I read it, I said uh, the article mentioned that there is no a fixed met methodology to aid a company in its uh, pricing in the bars. That is not, you need to have clear. But uh, let us read Sonos then, and then we are going to talk about it. 
For example, this one, develop marketing strategy. What is that? Somebody wants to read it? Maybe. Hello? Okay, help me, please. Develop market, pardon. Develop marketing strategy. Uh, Adel Tyler market analysis acts as a logical starting point for price pricing price decision. A uh, business followers a uh, market analysis with a uh, division and definition of the market. In into segment A with is this distinct requirements and night after after if a uh, decision need to be to make regard, regarding the desired segment to be targeted the product and branch pos position positioning is then based on these identified segments. Okay, thank you. When we talk about development marketing strategy, we are talking about detailed market analysis as a logical starting point for pricing decision. That means that um, we need to follow uh, a market analysis with a division and definition of the market into segment, each with its distinct requirement and need. Okay, but let us see the last two lines. A decision needs to be made regarding the desired segment. Hold on a second. To be targeted. The product and the brand positioning is then based on this identified segment. How you are going to develop uh, these strategies? Of course, that you need to make some research and based on that, you are going to start doing something it is not just that you are going to say okay i'm going to increase uh, my prices of this product because i want to get more money now you need to uh, study a different aspect and that is what i want to show you here because it is recommended for us okay another thing that we need to do is just to make marketing makes decision what does mean once the segment and positioning in some somewhat in place, the marketing mix planning comes into effect. Here the products, distribution, and promotional element are decision to focus upon and to finalize. What happened here? <clears throat> the uh, you need to make a decision based on a different marketing marketing technique. And also, uh, if you remember, I talked about demand curve. That is another marketing analysis that need to be conducted at this point. In this one, uh, there's need to be a specific information rather of how to price effects, the quantity of the product demanded. And that is that we are going to see the demand that we have. And based on that, you are going to set the price. If you see that you are selling uh, a lot of product, you need to make a study. And based on that, you are going to do something that maybe is going to be up or to be, uh, will be down also. All depend. Todo dependerá de eso. Then also, uh, you need to calculate the cost. A company can now get an accurate assessment of the total fixed and variable costs associated with the product. These are a necessary input for pricing decision at the final price need to at least cover this cost. 
And how, uh, do you remember the way that uh, we have studied how you are going to calculate the cost? Do you remember that? I show you some formulas yesterday, I guess. No? Oh, see, sí, yo creo que sí, o oh, no. Okay, okay, let, let me finish this and then we are going to talk about. Okay, number five say assess environment. Another uh, vital element that feed into pricing is the environment. This means an understanding of the competitor strategies, their product and its value, as well as an understanding of any industry or legal constraints. Uh, that is, we need to see the environment that we have. And also, uh, if we are the only one that we are selling the, uh, a specific product or there are more uh, companies that they are selling something like that. And based on that, we are going to set pricing objective. As detailed above, there are several objectives that a company can have for its pricing strategy. This is the point in the process that those objectives need to be discussed and agreed upon. Like the one that I show you when we were talking about Mr. Herrera. Do you remember that? Do you remember that we were talking about that? Maybe he uh, take into account only just one or two, but uh, we need to look for all. Okay, determine price. Using all the information collected and analyzed till this point, a company is now in a good position to set the best price for its product. A, a pricing method and structure can be formulated along with any possible sale promotion or discussion. Take a look at this. These steps are not necessarily all followed in this sequence. Some steps may be skipped or bundled together, while others perform at different stages and different order, order, depending on several factors like product or business model. That means that sometimes you, we don't need to just uh, follow in, in, in the same order that uh, we can have it in a guide. Yeah, maybe we can make some switches, right? In order to determine, but also let us see some factors that affect pricing. I need that somebody help me create this, please. Only one, no, no more than, than one. Let me teacher. Okay, thank factor you. Factor that offer pricing. Okay. There are several basic factors that affect pricing for all months, all companies and industries. These can be categories as internal factors and external factors. Okay. Can you Continue please? this? Yes. Internal. Let us see the, the internal. All right. Internal factor. There are two elements that are under the control of the organization. However, it is vital to know that those that may be with the company's domain of control, shaking that may not be as easy as it seems. For example, production process chase may require significant costs. They and process resilience internal factor include. Okay, now, before we go to the next slide, we need to understand exactly sometimes we, we uh, have uh, two different kinds of uh, factors, like internal and external. In this case, we are talking about internal that has to do with uh, the only requirement that the, the cost of the product is going to take into account and also the time that the factory is going to take in order to process and switch the design 
that is something that maybe uh, could be controlled, but also let me see here. I'm looking for the the internal. Let me see what I got at the internal. I don't see it here. It is just three of it. When we talk about internal, We are talking about fixed and variable cost, company objectives and strategies, and also market segment uh, and the position. That is now the product. That means that we can uh, control it. But let us take a look at the uh, external factor. And later we are going to relate uh, this one with the moment that we are living now with a certain product. When we talk about external factor, those factors which have a significant impact on pricing decision, but are not completely controllable, controllable by the company are known as external factors. And these are very important to the pricing method a company can exert some control by conducting detailed analysis to understand in depth how this factor will behave. External factor may include competitor, target market behavior, and willingness to pay, industry trends, industry or legal constraints. Let me see the time. Okay. Well, we are going to make a stop here because. Let me see. Well, we also, I invite you to read uh, the price emission and how price fixing, that are the one that we are missing. And now what we are going to do is that uh, we are going to think in a product that right now in this moment, uh, the price go high. It has to do with the pandemic and has to do with uh, something that is happening in Russia and Ukraine. And let us see all the terms that we have studied in order that uh, we can discover if uh, we can apply the four piece to this situation. When I say something like that, I, uh, I consider that you already know about what I'm talking. Let, let, let me see. Uh, I'm going to let you tell or name some product that has suffered uh, an increase after uh, February 24. What happened in that day? Well, uh, in that point of the monster, Russia and Ukraine uh, in, um, in a worm could be uh, saying that way. Okay, but let us see the cost of gasoline in this moment. What happened? Do you consider, uh, let us see first of all, the internal and external factor that makes that company rise uh, the price. Let us see, because I'm telling you this based on the situation that I have seen. I got some relatives uh, in the United States and one of them told me that right now uh, in Connecticut, for example, the price of gasoline is like uh, 6.70 uh, cents per gallon. 
but uh, in other areas, the price is different. And if we compare it with our country, we can see also a different, but, but what is happening now? What factor do you consider that has to do with this um, rise or the price? Has to do with internal or external? Let us talk about that first. Okay, microphone is off. Impuestos. How do you say in English, impuestos? It is uh, taxes. Excuse me. Excuse me. Taxes. Mm, yeah, in certain no? in certain point we can say in that way, yes. Because remember that we can, we have a different uh, different taxes, right? Even when we talk about in El Salvador, when we talk about IVA. It is like taxes, right? But um, if we talk about gasoline, we are going to see that have a different uh, charges that, uh, well, in my case, for example, when I saw the news and I heard that we are paying uh, in order to support uh, the worm, and something like that, I say, wow, that is the reason why we, we are uh, paying a lot of money. But later on, I saw another that I don't remember the name. No recuerdo otro nombre de otro impuesto que vi, que al final eh, nosotros como población desconocemos todo eso. But going back again with the, with the main point, uh, I need to identify the internal and external uh, point of this product. Maybe in the uh, America Central, uh, different we can we pay um, gasoline is uh, uh, all these impuestos, I don't know, taxes. Taxes? Uh, taxes, because um, down uh, a little bit is less in CL, I am think um, external, uh, maybe the war, and other is the politics because Iraq, Iraq, I don't know how to say in English, Iraq, um, film with China uh, for drones and selling petroleum on this country and using her, her money, her, yes, her money, Talking about fossil, this, it, fossil fuel, fossil fuel. Uh, it's possible that uh, this is other increase in the price because all um, in the Salvador using dollar and is all money. Um, and now that, that China with your money, um, I, don't, I don't know how do you say acapara. Como que está teniendo más mercado China. Tiene más mercado en no solamente dólares, sino que en otras cosas. Eso puede ser algo. Could be. Could be. And also could be fluctuation. Okay. What else? Could be monopolized also when the people want to have uh, all, all the product. But also, um, 
there are some uh, specific terms that we uh, maybe later on we are going to see and more deep talking about fluctuation and spe speculation are economical term that, that we sometimes don't talk about this kind of term, right? But, um, well, what we need to, to, to see here is just uh, what is happening around the world. That we but that we could say that are external issues, right? And how is going to affect right here inside of El Salvador? And talking about pricing too. Okay, somebody else. Let us see the reality that we have in our country and how we are going to apply what we are studying related with pricing, right? But if you don't want to talk about fuel, we can we can talk about an, an other product that you know that maybe the price is different. In fact, uh, different goods now, right now, they are facing uh, increase. Okay. Somebody else? Teacher, when increase um, uh, one product, other product in the ba basics product increase too. Um, in my job, uh, is usually usually um, we my partners and me pay um, lunch or. Uh, how do you say? Mm, refrigerio, como es refrigerio? Mm. Bueno, alimentación en general, nosotros, we, we pay. Um, and we take a price for this. Uh, for example, for a lunch, uh, we pay $2.50. Okay. And we, we, our providers, um, we pay three dollars. Anything want uh, menos, na, nadie quiere menos de tres dólares para un almuerzo. Y que compramos cantidades grandes. All the products in price. Okay, but do you consider the how to do only yet with the internal or external factor? Bosses then? Okay, somebody else? in other factors teacher because uh, in this time is no um, rain rain do you it's not in rain and many places is raining uh, this is bad for the public and los agricultores the farmer farmer uh, because someone products um, 
se arruina cuando no es temporada de lluvia. And eso hace de, de, de some non products um, is more expensive because it's not uh, local production and we can export it there is more expensive okay that means that uh, when when that happened and when they uh, hide the prices they do it just sinking in in what what do you think Cuando ellos suben los precios, ellos lo hacen pensando en qué. Veamos. Let us see how you are going to relate the vocabulary that we have started. O es que ellos suben el precio solamente porque dicen, no, hoy le vamos a subir tanto. I don't know, cost production, maybe. Um, farmer needed more fertilizer, fertilizante, you know, fertilizer, fertilizer, and other products uh, he needed for the um, for uh, no sé, I don't know, uh, cultivos. He need more products. Okay. And, Props. The products and these um, for the cost production is more higher um, for these cows. He needed uh, higher your prices. Okay. Okay, based on the cost that they are having uh, and all the product that they need in order to produce, based on that, uh, they are uh, pricing their product. But right now, everything is based on, on the fuel, I guess. And if we see the external factor uh, had to do with with the situation that uh, is happening there with Russia and Ukraine. Even though they are right here uh, in South America, we, we have uh, Venezuela is one of the, one of the countries that they have uh, good resources about, about fuel, you know, but, uh, there are a lot of situations that we can we can control and we need to pay for it. If I don't know in, in your areas, but if if we talk about I don't know if you have come how many tortillas do you got for one dollar? Maybe one month ago and now. You know? It's really, really difficult, but we need to succeed and we need to take into account all the uh, advantages that we are starting in a company in order to, to, to lower or increase the price. Okay, uh, we are so close to finish. I would like to thank you to all of you. Let me check out the attendance now. When there, there is a lot of information related with the topic, uh, what I can tell you that uh, can help is just that you take your time in order to read it, uh, try to read it uh, as many times as you can. And, uh, and also it is necessary that you got a dictionary and try to look for the meaning of new words and in order that you can relate it in a in a conversation about a specific topic because as you can see here uh, right now on the topic that we are studying uh, sometime 
we need to have not only just uh, knowledge about the meaning, but also we need to know about, about economic and marketing, e-commerce also, different aspects. Okay, uh, Adriana. Present teacher. Thank you, Ana Beatriz. Present teacher. Hey, Ana Lilian. Present. Ana Mariela. Present teacher. Carlos Antonio. Present. Claudia. Present. Francis. Iris Ibet. Ah, uh, Jose Jonathan. Yes, Mr. Juan Carlos. Present teacher. Maria Concepcion. Present teacher. Eh, Mayra Veralice. Sa okay, Saira Eliana. Sara Marlene. Present teacher. Wendy. Present teacher. Santos Misael. Present teacher. Jenny. Present teacher. Let me see. Bautista. Present teacher. And Mario Ernesto. Present teacher. Teacher, no me mencionó. The senior is set. Sí. Let me see. Ni a mí, teacher. A mí, teacher, María Elena. My goodness, me pasé todas las Marías. Yes. Ok, entonces ya, ya me estoy durmiendo quizá. Ok, Laura, María Concepción. María Elena. A mí sí me mencionó, teacher. De ahí pasé a Mayra Veralice, Jenny and Yesenia. Ok. Ok, la sugerencia que les voy a dar es la siguiente. Miren. Estos temas que estamos viendo ahorita... Eh, tienen mucho contenido, eh, ¿cómo les diría? Eh, de teoría, ¿no? Muchos conceptos, muchos términos. Entonces yo lo que les invito es a que lean, lo lean una y otra vez, hagan su propio vocabulario, eh, sacando todas aquellas palabras que son desconocidas, buscando un diccionario eh, y creando su propio vocabulario. Generalmente, eh, si ustedes se han fijado, para estos temas eh, relacionamos términos económicos, eh, términos específicos de marketing, de comercio electrónico, eh, y tratamos de, de hacer eh, como en forma general una panorámica, ¿sí? Porque como les dije hace un momento, no, no estamos en una materia en específico que sea relacionada a economía, donde vamos a indagar específicamente cómo se realiza una curva eh, de, de, de demanda relacionada a precios, sino en forma general, que entre mayor sea la, la, la demanda, eh, a veces ahí pueden variar las cosas. El precio puede ser que, 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 que suba, o que se mantenga, ¿sí? Y eso va a depender, como le dije, si usted, por ejemplo, pone una panadería, al inicio solo trabajó con X libras de harina y, de, y se fue al mercado y usted vio que eso le dio resultado, entonces significa que la demanda va aumentando y usted también tiene que ir buscando la forma de ir regulando o, o viendo si se va a mantener en precios que, que ha iniciado, ¿verdad? Y ahí podemos ver la, la, las uh, diferentes fases que hemos visto. 
y es necesario mantenerlas ahí en mente porque eh, de eso va a depender el éxito que se tenga y ese es el objetivo que vayamos viendo las diferentes fases así es que eh, los invito a que leamos porque hay que leer y al mismo tiempo hay que analizar algunas cosas eh, al inicio vi que eh, o lo sentí así cuando comencé a hablar sobre la experiencia que le pasó al señor Herrera que desde el inicio de la pandemia él se mantuvo con los precios y cuál sería la razón les preguntaba por qué sería que él se mantuvo con eso debió haber tomado en cuenta algunos factores de sobrevivencia a, eh, o, o qué es lo que pudo haber sucedido. Él no quiso cargarle más el precio a la gente para mantener sus clientes o en qué se basó. Por eso es que les presentaba los objetivos eh, que, que ten, tenemos que tomar en cuenta al momento de, de, de hacer el, el, el marketing. Entonces, eh, es de leer. Porque si no leemos, eh, es difícil que vayamos a entender algo. Y más cuando los términos son un poco desconocidos para nosotros. Bien para los que tal vez eh, han visto materias relacionadas eh, a, a este tipo de cosas. Para ellos es, es más común. ¿Sí? Así es que tranquilos, sigamos adelante. Hay que seguir hacia adelante. Y cada día vamos aprendiendo cosas nuevas. No sé si en la plataforma eh, ya resolvieron el ejercicio que estaba medio complicado. Le di por ahí un par de ideas. Eh, ya lo reporté. Hasta ahora no me han dicho si han hecho la corrección. Si alguien entró me puede eh, decir si ya se hizo o sigue igual. O si han encontrado otro. Tan pronto encuentren alguna falla, háganmelo saber para hacer el reporte respectivo. Ok, eh, let me see who's number nine. Number nine is José Jonathan Vigil Hernández. No olviden que todos tienen eh, la oportunidad en cierto momento, dependiendo de su número, de 10 minutos para poder hacer cualquier consulta relacionada a lo que estamos mirando. Así es que en este caso le correspondería a Jonathan, si es que está... Eh, tomar su espacio. Acordémonos que siempre eh, van quedando las evidencias de lo que vamos haciendo. Así es que thank you very much and I invite you to continue doing this tomorrow. Uh, it's going to be Friday and we are going to continue with this. I don't know if somebody wants to say something or it's up to you. Good night tomorrow. Ok, teacher, ¿me puede pasar otro día, por favor? Ok. Good night. Ok, good night, good see you. Night. I hope to see you tomorrow. Good bye night. bye. And don't forget to read. Blessings. Ok, bye bye. See you, see you, see you. Hello, Adriana.